Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of cross applications. And our new topic is change pointers technique. One of the extremely important topics, especially for the experienced professionals in any interview. Yes, the interviewer asks so many questions based upon this change pointers technique. Now, if we come on to change pointer technique, before this, I covered a topic, how to send that data from one SAP client to another SAP client. And intentionally, this topic is covered before covering that topic change pointer technique. But we did into this particular topic. We took the example of material, how to send material from one SAP client to another SAP client. Data can be anything. It can be material, cost center, profit center, vendor, customer. Ultimately, we need to perform all these common steps. Logical client, logical system, port, partner profile, distribution model. These all are the common steps. At the last, I took the example of material. So I used MM01 transaction code. Suppose you have a requirement of customer, vendor, then you can use XD01, XK01 or BP transaction code. At the last, Yes, I took the example of materials. So I showed you through BD10 transaction code. This BD10 transaction code, which is a dedicated transaction code to send the materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. Then many people ask, do we need to go for different, different transaction code always? Suppose I have a requirement of customer. I have a requirement of vendor. I have a requirement of cost center, profit center. Then I told no, there is a common program itself. With the help of this program, we can send any type of data from one SAP client to another SAP client. It means at the last, this program, this program is playing a vital role because with the help of this program only, that data is going from one SAP client to another SAP client. Now, this program is the base for our new topic or next topic. Our next topic is change pointer technique. Now the question is in everyone's mind, what is in this particular program? How this program identifies that these are the 10 new material, they should go to other client. These are the 10 materials for which I change the description. So they should go to other system. This whole game is handled by a word and the word is called as or technique is called as change pointer technique. So if someone asks, what is change pointer technique? Whenever you want to distribute that data to other systems, ultimately the whole game is handled by the change pointer technique only. Word itself is saying, it is a pointer to the changes, yes. Whatever the changes we did, changes can be, we can create, change, delete, anything. Ultimately, those changes will go to other system with the help of this technique only. So whenever we want to distribute that data to other system, the change pointer technique is used. And I already showed you the example. Firstly, I explained, yes, how we can send materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. But at the last, how that materials are going to other system, how system knows 
that these are the materials should flow to the other system with the help of change pointer technique only. Now, the purpose of this technique is to distribute the changes which are made in one SAP client to another SAP client. So, especially I will suggest whenever you are going for this topic. So, firstly, take an idea of the previous topic. Yes, ultimately, yes, our next topic is the last step. Yes, this is the last step of the previous topic. And it is the beginning of our new topic from that. So, change pointer is used to distribute the changes from one SAP client to another SAP client. Now, now change pointers, whatever the log or history for the change pointer is there, it is always, always into BDCP or BDCPS table or BDCP2. Either these two tables or this particular table. Now, what SAP did now? In this BDCP2 table itself, SAP combined these two tables. So, if you do not have the latest system, it might be the case you need to go for these two tables. But if you have the latest system, you will find everything into this single table itself. It is clearly change pointer, change pointer, change pointer table. So whenever I will sh I will uh, the, when the topic will continue, I will show you the data into these particular tables also. Now, the change pointer technique is based upon change document technique. There are two different words itself. And generally in the interview, especially for the experienced people, we ask the question, what is change pointer technique and what is change document technique? Change document technique is used to track the changes for that particular document. Two different terminology itself. Change document technique, change pointer technique. Change document technique means we can track the changes to that particular document. Change pointer technique is used to transfer the changes to the other client. Suppose I will go for simple example. If you want to understand. Suppose I have a SAP client hunter. I have a SAP client hunter. Suppose there is a material, suppose material name is send underscore one. Suppose the description of the material is test. I change the description from test to testing. So change document technique will tell us that test has been changed to testing. So what is the change document technique? It is used to track the changes to that document. I change this particular material. I change that description from test to testing. So this change document technique is used to track the changes to that particular document. Now, but is change pointer technique in the 100 client now the description of this particular material send underscore one is testing. But in 200 client, in 200 client, still the description of this particular material is test is test. Now with the help of change pointer technique, this changes will go to this particular client and test will also change to testing. So this is the way how you can understand the difference between change document technique and change pointer technique. Change document technique means we are tracking the changes made to that particular document. Document in this case, the document is a material. Yes. 
you can go for vendor you can go for customer that will act as a document but with the help of change pointer technique that changes or data will flow to the other system now your change document history is stored into cd hdr and cd post table change document header change document header and change document item table in the advanced abap concept i fully fully explain the topic of change document log or history or change document technique but yes but tabber the knowledge is required at this point of time to understand change pointer we will cover all those parts itself if you want huge explanation on change document history or log or change document technique you can simply refer the advanced abap concept playlist so what is the summary of this particular video extremely important topic and we will go very very slowly in this particular topic now what is change pointer technique with the help of change pointer technique your data your data changes will flow to other client of sap system your changes done in one client of sap will flow to other client of sap now change pointer log or change pointer data is stored into bdcp or bdcps table either it will be in these two tables or bdcp2 table generally it's always now in bdcp2 table only now the base for change pointer technique is change document technique now you need to understand what is change document and what is change pointer change document technique is used to track the changes made to that document suppose we took the example for this material we changed the description so with the help of change document technique we track that the description is changed but when we want to flow this changes to other system or other client that can be done through change the change pointer technique only now change document log is always always stored into cd hdr and cd post change pointer data stored into bdcp2 change document data stored into cd hdr and cd post table now in the next video firstly i showed you how data will go into this change document tables change pointer tables how system is identifying and how the data is flowing to the other system an extremely important topic so that we will will go very very slow to understand the topic in an efficient manner so that's it in this video thank you